This Fireblade has a cartridge oil filter like this one, and there are a few different ways of getting it off. Often when you buy your new oil filter, you can buy a big socket that fits over the top and allows you to screw the new one in, and in theory should allow you to screw the old one off again as long as it's exactly the same size. Failing that though, you can use one of these. This is a chain wrench, but you can get strap wrenches which work the same way. As you turn them, they tighten on the oil filter and grip it enough to undo it. You could also use a pair of great big pliers like this, as long as they're big enough to fit round the oil filter and you can get access in to turn it. Or as a method of last resort, you can use a screwdriver and a lump hammer. Hammer the screwdriver through the end of the oil filter like that. I can't really recommend doing it this way. If you do have to do it this way though, make sure you drive the screwdriver through the end, not the base, as you'll damage the threads on the oil filter mount. It also gets very messy. Slide the tub of old oil under the filter area as more oil will be lurking in there too. I'm using the chain wrench as my best option. Slip the chain over the filter and give yourself enough room to turn it. Adjust the chain so it's as tight as possible and then grip and release the chain as you undo the filter. Filters should in theory never be too tight and this one is coming off easily. Now I can finish taking it off with my fingers, taking care not to drop it into the tub. The filter still has some oil in it so I'm tipping it into the tub. On bikes with vertical filters this will be especially so. In this case, the oil filter is mounted on the oil cooler takeoff ring and it will continue to drip for hours, but as I don't have that much time, I'll give it a quick wipe over and install a new filter. Make sure the surface that the new seal butts up against is perfectly clean and flat and be very careful not to push any crud into your engine whilst you clean it. Fitting the new oil filter is dead straightforward. The only thing you have to do is smear a little of the new oil round this rubber seal. So get some oil out of your new tub and just wipe a finger full of new oil over the rubber seal. This allows the seal to turn easily as it compresses against the mount and so allows you to tighten it to the correct torque. Now carefully manoeuvre the new filter into position making sure the oiled seal doesn't touch anything and pick up any crud. Carefully screw it onto the filter mount making sure you don't cross thread it. It should spin very easily. You can torque the filter up if you've got the right tools, but I've always done them by hand without any problems. Make sure your hand and the filter are clean and dry so you can grip the filter properly. And firmly tighten the filter against the mount. Don't go silly and start swinging off it to get it tight. Once it's fitted, make sure you give the filter area a wipe over. Also, give the exhaust a wipe over as you invariably drip some old oil on there. And check that it's seated squarely. 